thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm one of the developers of the RepRep project, uh, which made all this possible. Uh, actually, I will be speaking more about the 3D printing, but it's open source hardware project, so I guess it's okay. Uh, and I want to thank to every one of the hundreds of peop people who contributed to the repair project. Uh, I uh, named the presentation Revolution of 3D Printing. It's kind of strong work, but I hope at the end of the presentation you will agree that it's revolution. Uh, all the time uh, you hear about the 3D televisions and stuff from the advertising, from magazines, and it, you know, it's, it's not the big deal. It's like looking at the candies through the windows of the candy shop. Uh, what's actually the 3D printing? It's really simple, and a lot of people don't know that something like this even exists. To show, uh, it's simply transferring your idea to the real thing. Not only the form, but even you can replicate the true nature of the thing. That's why I printed for you all, uh, for every one of you, the whistle. Please, uh, I will be happy if you try them out. That's why I printed them. <laughs> Actually, on the screen on the left, uh, you can see the printer actually printing next two whistles for two next lucky people. Uh, but it's not only about the real things. You can print uh, whatever your imagination allows you. Uh, you. You start to think about things totally different. When I, there's no, your creativity is only limit. When I look at this table, uh, at this table, I don't think where I can buy it. I don't think how much does it cost. It really changes your thinking. I think how I can make it. I think how I can make it even better. So creativity is only think what limits you. Uh, next thing, what is very interesting about this is that the printer can replicate itself, which is totally awesome. <laughs> well, add some artificial intelligence, and here it goes, kind of. This is how does it look? You can all see it. And actually, it's good that we have it here. So you can believe it. A lot of people don't even believe that something like this can exist. The whole idea of the thing is simple. The hat is just like super fancy hot glue gun which is on the three-dimensional robot. Everyone can build this, right? Uh, I certainly can't build, the <laughs> can't build the 3D TV, but I can build this in my uh, shop or in the basement, so why I don't do it? Uh, another awesome thing about this is it's wealth without money. Why do you need the money if you have the robot which can make you Anything, really anything. <laughs> you, you don't have to buy something. Uh, it can even push the limits of what we can do. This is uh, the thing what one of my friends printed. Imagine, it's water pump so in size of the one dollar. And if we can find the material, which is readily available, I, th I think in, in Africa, people can build printers 
from uh, for free and build water pumps and I don't know uh, grow some crops and stuff and uh, real use which can I show you now is how uh, yesterday I realized I need something to hold my business cards at the conference and at the Sunday evening, when can you buy the business card holder? Nowhere. So you just browse the Google, Google it somewhere, and print it. And this is what's awesome. And you can make really anything. And oh, I have some little time left. So I have one story which is related to the whistle. It's designed by the friend from Germany. Uh, he's called Zago, I think, and he designed it one evening, and few hours after this, guys in the New York printed them out too. But can you imagine, if you fabricate these whistles in Germany, you are not able to uh, ship them to the New York in two hours. So I hope that you like it, and lots of you will build 3D printful, printer like I did a few months ago. And I hope you whistle me out when I'm going up the stage. <laughs>